Hello. As of June 10th, Brazilian protesters in the city of Rio de Janeiro and Sao Paulo have carried out rallies in protest of the rise in bus fare, which went up by 20 cents. Such protests have continued until today, at the time of the recording of this video on June 14th. You may not have heard of this, that with Turkey and Syria's uprising, it is difficult to keep track with everything that goes on in the world. And eventually, international news outlets might report on what is happening down here. They might do so the same way the national media is doing it now. They might portray the protesters as criminals and vandals and delinquents. It is of extreme importance that the truth reaches you before they do. The recent uprising that is spurring in Brazil is not an act of unwarranted violence and it is not gratuitous vandalism. It is the result of what happens when a society is forced to put up with the ludicrous, nonsensical laws that are created only to benefit the lawmakers themselves, and which results in a wealth and social gap so outrageous it would be cause for hilarity if it weren't true. Some of the policies proposed and approved by our representatives are as follows. And I assure you, as incredible as they may appear, I am not making them up. They are real and they are being exercised right now. Politicians have a awarded themselves the privilege of receiving up to three extra months of salaries. So after resuming their year's pay in their December salary, they are paid thrice more, as if their year had three extra months. And their salary, by the way, is about 17,000 reais per month, while minimum wage stands at 600. Politicians have also awarded themselves privileges for paid expenses, such as air tickets, ranging from 10 to 22,000 reais. Government provided housing expenses to the tune of 3 to 4,000 reais. Private phone expenses for up to 1,000 reais per month, as well as an amount between 60 and 80 2,000 reais of spending money which they then can use in order to pay off whoever they claim is necessary for them to conduct their daily functions. Politicians sometimes take advantage of this by hiring friends and relatives for completely made up positions, professions that don't exist just so they can give them free money for nothing. And once again, while all these things are happening, minimum wage stands at around 600 reais. Politicians couldn't care less about their constituents down here. And this complete disregard for their constituents has resulted in some deplorable situations in health, in safety in education. It's common to have hospitals that look like war zones, with patients lying about in the hallways instead of in a gurney. Or to have a patient who is in critical condition, but is told by the hospital staff to which he goes that the hospital is full, and then being given the order to ride alone by bus, public transportation to another one. Here, the country that brags about how well prepared and how advanced it is to host the World Cup has such deplorable and horrible and sad education conditions that people have just given up on it. Keeping in mind that a politician here earns 17 thousand reais, can you imagine how much the salary of a teacher would be? 800. Imagine a person who went to college to exert a profession as important as teaching a generation of children to lead the country in the future, having to only allow herself 200 reais, or rather 200 bucks from your country per week to feed her family. That's how it is down here. And yet the Brazilian capital turns a cold shoulder to all this. While these disgraceful facts still persist and occur, they are building right now, or have concluded building by the time you watch this video, the Manega Hincha, the most expensive soccer stadium to ever host a World Cup game at the tune of 1.2 billion reais. 1.2 billion while people starve in slums and die in hospital corridors. Also in the subject of preparing for the important events of the World Cup and the Olympics, poor people that live around the areas that are being prepared to host the soccer games of the World Cup and the games of the Olympics have been evicted from their homes in a near Gestapo-esque fashion. The police have marked the front doors of their homes, preparing them to be run over by a bulldozer the next day. And any resident that tries to stand his ground and stay home is being met with crowd dispersion evasion techniques, including gunfire, with total disregard for women and children. And even now, as we speak, a bill is being discussed that will render the Supremo Tribunal Federal, the government body that is responsible for keeping politicians in check, completely useless. If this law is accepted, then politicians will run free and be able to do whatever they wish to without anyone to check on them. This is absolutely unacceptable. It has gone on for too long and people are sick of it. Only this time something substantial can be done. And that is where you come in. In 2014, Brazil will host the World Cup, 2016 the Olympics the two most prestigious and renowned athletic events in the world. Brazil cannot afford to have its reputation smeared now. If there is a worldwide outlash against the things that are happening here, the people in control will be forced to do something about it. Under the threat of a besmirched reputation and international pressure, Brazil will be forced to change. 
We're not asking you to do too much. Just please post something about the facts we have just told you in your Facebook wall or Twitter feed. Also, if you want to research in the internet to see if what I'm saying is true, go ahead and do so. As well as the recent riots that are happening in Brazil, in the cities of Rio de Janeiro and Sao Paulo, you can research them as well and talk about them. Write about them in your Facebook wall and your Twitter feed, along with the hashtag Change Brazil. Then tell your friends about this video and share it. Continue sharing it on, on Facebook, on the Facebook wall and the Twitter feed. In fact, I would like to beckon every vlogger that exists in Brazil that may see this video and by extension every vlogger in the world that sees this video to talk about these issues. You don't have to talk about this video in particular or talk about me or the channel if you research whichever it is, but please make some noise about what is going on down here. If you wish to help spread the hashtag below, feel free, it would be awesome, but if not, whatever. Just please make some noise. Something great might be happening here now. Please make it so that we don't let this moment pass us by. The people are always more powerful than the government chosen to preside over them. Always. Thank you, and please help us.